Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascendant. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, we are picking up not too long after I left you in the last episode. I've done just a few things around here. Um, so I have put down a, a wooden foundation, a mortar and pestle, and have made, or in the, am in the process of making narcotic there. Uh, we got a storage chest here that I started gathering up uh, materials for making our base. We are going to make it out of wood. We're going to skip over thatch. A couple campfires here um, making meat for us. And also I set a sleeping bag down over here. Uh, in terms of our levels, we just got another level from making that narcotic. So let's just get our health up to 200. And that gives us 123 Ingram points. It seems to be the Ingram menu that causes the crashes. Because I've had it happen two more times uh, to me since the first episode. And it seems to happen when I'm in this Ingram menu. So I'm trying to remember to do a manual save uh, before, you know, before I get into it. Um, so what I'd like to do is I'd rather not spend a ton of time gathering resources with stone tools. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to try and get uh, into a forge and a smithy and the two, you know, metal tools ASAP. Um, so let's learn the forge, the smithy the metal pick and the metal hatchet <clears throat> excuse me and then let's see what else um i would like a preserving bin and so we still have 63 points now supposedly the, the there's no longer any water pipes in the game you just put an intake down and then it kind of has like a wireless area that it that it affects so if that's the case we could put this down below and then set a water tap up here and that would give us water so let's try that and see if that indeed works that way uh, I want to learn the, the better raft but we don't necessarily need to do that immediately uh, we're gonna want to you know do the leather armor at some point uh, we're gonna want gunpowder and some mini paste so let's just learn those now because you know we got to do it and um, just trying to see you know we'll get the spyglass in the cooking pot learned as soon as possible. You know, we should probably, um, well, I, I'm not going to make a bed until at, we at least get a floor down uh, for our base, uh, which if all goes according to plan, we'll be working on that a little bit later on in this episode. So we still have 48 points to spend. Uh, you know, maybe it would be to our advantage to see if we can actually make the hide armor. Um, I don't know if we'll have enough points to do that, but 26... Yes, we do. Perfect. Okay, uh, so that's gonna that's gonna help us, of course, uh, be a little tougher. And then I think, yeah, let's just hold off on the rest of of these Ingram points for now. Okay, let's do a save. I'm gonna try and remember, like I said, to do that frequently. And we're already dehydrated, so let's take the critters and head down to the water to get a drink. And then, um, you know, because water is kind of a pain in the butt to get to because I have to go all the way around and down, maybe the first thing we'll do before we work on anything else is get the stone uh, the stone tap and uh, intake in place. They're not expensive to make. I should probably put a little bit of stamina on this guy, too. He doesn't... Uh, whoa, no, I don't want to go that way. He doesn't have... Um, a ton of stamina. I've been mostly pumping his health and his weight. And he gets just an absolute crazy amount of fiber for us, too, which is amazing. We don't even need to worry about a pick. Uh, I mean, we'll probably get one eventually, but it's just, uh, you know, good to have him uh, until that time comes. And he's even with, with that, he's still probably better than a pick. I don't know. We'll have to see how it works. Um, and he's also pretty good at getting berries. And then, of course, I know we can configure him you know, to harvest different types of things. But right now he's kind of just being an all-purpose uh, dino for us. Okay, we do have to be careful because uh, I have seen a baryonyx down here. That's the only hostile thing I've noticed. Um, and then there's chances are pretty good there's piranha in this water too. So, okay, so let's take a drink here. And whilst we're down here... Um, here, let's save. I know this is a pain in the ass, but like I said, it's the Ingram menu. Well, I guess we're not getting in the Ingram menu right at the moment. Uh, but that's the thing that seems to cause us trouble. 
Okay, so we need stone for this. Um, let's just put both of these on the toolbar. I know I can pin them, but if I put it down here, then I can make it as soon as I have enough stuff. Um, and then let's let's find some stone. Here, we can use this here. And if this works, then yeah, that'll be pretty handy. Otherwise, what I was planning on doing is building like a ladder down to the water and even maybe making like a little dock, which we still might do anyways, because I do want to, um, uh, I do want to use the raft. So, okay, we're going to need 10 stone and 15 wood for this. So that should give us 10. I don't want to get too much stone. Okay. And then let's go grab some wood to make the, the faucet. There we go. Okay. Let's make that right now. All right, now what we're going to do, though, is we need to be kind of over closer uh, to our stuff. Are you, you got a level. Let's give you some stamina. You're pretty happy about that, aren't you? Got a couple pieces of metal, too. That's, that's going to be the next thing we're going to have to go after. Here, let's put this away. Okay, so I, I don't know what the range is on the intake. So we want to be pretty darn close to our, our base. And um, you got another level? Level up is available. Oh, no, I've got another level. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Um, let's, let's get our stamina to 150, and then I think that's probably all we're going to do for stamina. I forgot to save when it, before it went into the... Ingram menu there. Um, oh, nice. It's raining. So, yeah, we got to be careful. There could be piranhas in here. Uh, I don't see any right... Oh, shit. Oh, wow. He wrecked those guys. Okay. Uh, we could get some fish meat, except for he doesn't... If I hop off, will he harvest them? Huh, okay, let's, um, we'll use this then to get some fish meat. Wait a minute. I was going to say, I can't even harvest it. Oh, wrong tool. All right, whatever. Okay, so yeah, let's go over here. Guess we're okay for the moment. What? I'm not underwater. Was I underwater? Must have been underwater. Oh, that's cool how the water's flowing like that. Okay, can I get... I guess we can get up here. All right, let's see if we can set the intake. Here. Can't place stone water intake isn't obstructed. Uh... Oh, okay, we can place it here. Does it matter what direction it's going? I'm going to guess probably not. Okay, if we hold E on it, does it show us like a radius? Show range, yeah. Wait, what? Oh, there it is. Oh my god, look at that. That is cool. Something messed up that Fiomio over there. Okay, let's leave that on uh, for now until, uh, you know, just so we know for sure what the, the range will be. So now in theory, we should be able to just put the tap down and then we'll have water, which would be fantastic. That's an interesting uh, change that they made there. So I wonder if the, if you put like the metal intake down, if it has an even higher range. You guys both coming? Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned about what of what might have messed up that Fiomia. Um, could have been a raptor or something. So, but we do have bullets on us. Um, our our guys here, they could probably do okay on a you know low low level raptor. You know, here's an interesting thing too. I was looking at um, Choppa's damage. She, she's got 882 melee damage. I didn't even put any points in. 
That's crazy. <laughs> How does she have such high damage? It's probably, you know, just relative, though, to, to her, um, her species, I suppose. But, man, that seems like really high damage. I don't know. Okay, so let's come back around here. Uh, I'm going to just stick this fish uh, in the campfire and cook it up. There's a, a dillo. All right, so. Get him. <laughs> nice job, Peg. Nice work. Eat that sucker. Uh, wait, what are you doing? No, don't go after the turtle. Well, okay, too late. What level is that turtle? Good lord, look at the damage this thing's doing. Wow. Is that... Is that right? I mean, how could... <laughs> this was like level 11 when we tamed it. How can it have so much damage? I'm not complaining, it just seems odd. You know? Um, okay, well, you're massively encumbered now. Oh, geez. Okay. So, here, let's give you some weight. And, um, where's Peg at? Okay, you're good in terms of weight. In fact, let's... What the hell? How does this thing have 882 melee damage? I wonder if it's because... I wonder if it's because I'm, I have the single player setting turned to on, because I didn't change the the multiplier for for tame dino damage. I didn't adjust any of that stuff. I don't think. That must be it. My goodness, that's a lot of damage. Okay, let's get your health up to yeah, 500 at least. These guys are way more powerful than I am giving them credit for. Just really surprises all. Okay, um, let's get rid of all the seeds. We can always gather that stuff later. And then, uh, what is the heaviest thing you have? Those berries are worth 10. So let's grab... Okay, that's good. Now, now they can move. Oh, Peg. Come on. I'm not sure what a... Uh, what a masculine version of Peg would be. Because uh, Peg's generally a feminine name. So I'm not sure what to call that dude. <laughs> okay, anyway. Let's get him over here. You know, my character seems to be pretty, pretty fast. I haven't put any levels in... Sp well, we can't even... Oh. I guess we can put levels in movement speed. Maybe that's just not on the dinos. Um, so, yeah, that's good, though, because I don't generally want to spend points on on speed anyway. Okay, let's cook this fish up. And we'll take the... Put a little more wood in there and a little more wood in there. And then we'll put the rest of this in here. If we put this on you, you should help preserve it longer. Let's grab the raw meat and split it up so we can make more spoiled meat. Let's split all. Split all. Uh, narco berries. Do you have any narco berries on you? Yes, you do. Grab all of those. And make some more uh, narcotic. Good. Okay. So, anyway, um, you guys stay here. And if we were to put our faucet right here, we should theoretically be able to come and get water from it. Um... Let's see. I'm gonna. I'm planning on building the house right here. 
So... These stones, we can harvest and get them out of the way. I'm just trying to think if I might want to put that on a, on a foundation. Well, is this harvestable? Yes, it is. All right, let's get these stones out of the way, because if I put a foundation here, they won't come back anyway. Let's save game before we do a level. And we wanted to get stamina to, to 150. Okay, that's like I said, that's probably all I'm going to put into stamina uh, for a while anyways, if not ever. Let's get this out of the way, too. Stick that stuff in there. Um, all right, now, to make a foundation, we're going to need some of this and some of this and some of this. Let's go to crafting and make a wood foundation. set this foundation right about here and let's see how do we there's supposed to be a way we can hold on a second put this away there's supposed to be a way we can adjust the height and stuff of this so if we set it down first Oh, we just, uh, oh, yeah, okay. So we just move the mouse itself. Cool. Okay, now, if we take you and where's the, the snapping option? Oh, it's, it, okay, so it, it's not snapping, but it is lining it up, which is really nice. And we'll just put that right there. Look at that, you guys. Oh, that is cool. All right. Well, we've solved our drinking water issue. Very cool. Okay, I'll, I'll hop back down there at some point and turn that, um, you know, turn this thing a doodle off. But, uh, oh, I love that. Okay. That makes things so much easier than having to run pipes. Very cool. Okay. So, uh, let's see. What is our next order of business? Our next order of business is to start gathering... Uh, or no, to make ourselves a forge so that we can then make a smithy so that we can then make metal tools so that we can then gather materials for our house. Okay, so let's track the forge. And uh, do we have everything we need to make this? So we're going to need 40 fiber. Okay, that's good enough. We're going to need 5 flint. We're going to need 65 hide. Twenty uh, wood. And then the rest will be stone, uh, which we have enough here. Okay. Nice. So let's make the refining forge. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, let's put all this stuff back in here for the moment. And let's uh, place this. Can this go on the ground? No, it cannot. Okay. So I'm going to place it back here and then we'll put the, the smith. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> My goodness. Uh, the smithy on that side. So it look like, looks like it's clipping into the tree a little bit. There. I know it's overhanging a little bit, but that's okay. I don't particularly care about that right now. Because um, this is just very, very temporary setup. Okay, so you're going to need some wood. We'll put a stack of wood inside of you. And now metal. So we have four pieces of metal here. I left, um, 
some metal back at that little uh, little chest too. Um, I'm just trying to decide if it's going to be worth the effort to go back and get it. We have two levels, nice. Oh, let's see. Let's put a point into. Let's put some more points into weight. Okay. Um, what do you got going on? Oh my goodness, you got a lot of stuff. Okay. Um, I I miss the S plus pulling system. I gotta say. <laughs> um, let's get you to. Let's get your stamina to five hundred. And then I'm gonna grab all the non-perishable stuff out of you because I'm going to need you to help me, me carry oh here's some metal too I need him to help me carry some metal and I believe it's two per ingot and we need we should need five ingots to make the workbench if that hasn't changed uh, the smithy rather yeah five metal ingots okay um, do you have, what do you have? You got a bunch of shit too. Okay, let's, let's dump the seeds. Let's grab all your berries. And I'm going to grab all, uh, I'm going to grab all your stuff too. Whoopsie. A little too much. And I know, you know, I know some of them are going to spoil, but it's just the way it is right now. We've got an excess of stuff here. And right now, uh, he's, over <laughs> he's over there harvesting more fiber that's within range of him. Let's put this in alphabetical order. All right, what else did you pick up? That stuff. Wow, you got 100 mayo berry? No, I, that, I put some of those back in there. Okay, put those in there. Um, you know what I think I might do, guys? I think I may wait for this meat to spoil first. And then... Um, well, we don't actually have a lot of narco berries. But yeah, I'm going to wait for this meat to spoil. I'm going to go out on the moss chops and get a, little, a, a few more narco berries just so we can get some more narcotic going here. And then we'll set out and go get that metal and then also try and find river rocks to harvest even more on the way back. Okay. Um, I don't want you to auto harvest because you're just filling up your inventory again. So how do we fix that? Harvest settings. Disable resource harvesting. Copy settings back. Okay, yeah. Um, because he just, he just, I mean, I've already filled up my chest <laughs> with fiber. It's completely full. We'll keep these narcos and maybe the mayhos, but everything else we're going to dump for now. Okay. Oh, we got to level up too. So before we do that, let's save the game. And then, um, all right. So we got 150 stamina. We got health up. Melee, Fortitude. I think I'm just going to keep pumping weight for now, but we'll eventually need to start putting some points into Fortitude and probably melee damage too. Maybe Oxygen, you know, because that helps in the water. But for now, let's um, let's get our weight. I'm going to say probably up to 300. Okay. So we're going to head back down to where we started from on the beach here and get don't know why he doesn't harvest um, anyway uh, yeah go get, and go get that metal and then we'll hit some um, some stones on the way back too I sure like the colors on some of the critters. It's really nice. Oh, there's a trilobite. We well, harvested. We harvested him, but where did all the stuff go? What? What the hell? Oh, man. 
Okay, here. Let's kill this trilobite. But we're going to harvest it. Yes, I am aware that that ichthy is right there. Seriously? Okay, good. So we got... We got the, the goods. Very nice. Okay. Uh, the chitin in particular... I mean, it's all going to come in super handy, but the chitin in particular is going to... Uh, really be good for us early on here. So and then we can make some mini paste. Okay, so before we commit to this, I just want to... There's a bunch of sharks over there, but they're not that close, so... Let's go. Let's go for it. Just a short swim around the corner here. Nice. Is that a... No, that's an ichthy. Okay. A Pelagornis would be a really nice early game flying mount. Um... They're a little more versatile than a Tyranodon, even though they're not as fast as a Tyranodon. But I have not actually seen one around here. I've seen several Ichthys, but no Pelagornis yet. Let's jump off and get a drink. Oh, I guess we don't need to drink because we... Because uh, we just uh, went under the water. That other moss chops is still over there. You still want a, a wildflower, dude? Uh, hold still. I can't tell. That is really hard to, to see what that text says. Uh, Tinto Berry. Oh, he changed. Because this one's a lot higher level than the other one. Come on, get there's a Tinto. Earlier, he wanted wildflowers. I think you're higher level. Oh, yeah, look at that. 95. A she. <laughs> wow. Um, That only took one? That seems really OP. Is it because... I'm going to have to look at my settings. I was not expecting to tame this with one Tinto Berry, but... Oh my god, look at that. Look at the melee damage it has just out of the box. Hmm. Okay, um... I, I mean, I don't want to make this too easy for myself, you know? Uh, we, it, it, there's joy in the, in the journey and in the challenge, and if we make it too easy, then it kind of spoils things. So... I just don't get that, though. Here, let's do this. Let's save the game. And I want to go back out to the main menu for a second. It's so damn loud. Okay, let's go to game rules. Taming speed multiplier. The scaling factor for creature taming speed. Higher values mean faster taming. I don't know if if that was it though. What I'm what I'm thinking is that this here says modifies various internal statistics to support a faster paced survival experience for a lone player or a small group. I'm wondering if that's what it is. Um if that's the case, we might tone down some of the other settings then to compensate because i don't know what all that changes it could also affect you know how effective we are at killing bosses and that kind of thing uh if you guys know let me know but we'll you know we'll keep an eye on this stuff and you know and just adjust things as you know as needed but i it just seems really odd that even our first moss chops had that much melee damage it was only like level 11 or something. So, yeah, weird, man. 
Okay, well, anyway, we got two female boss chops now. Uh, so you... Uh, let's just keep pumping weight on you. And... So you're already at 268, 1500 health, 690 stamina. Uh, your weight's 268. What is your weight? 269. Okay, so this one already has almost the same exact weight without even putting any points into it. Okay, let's um let's do health and weight. And you have and you have a lot more stamina than the other one too. Oh, and also, again, we want to uh disable automatic resource harvesting. Okay, well, we got ourselves an a new member of the team and a super powerful one at that. My word. Okay, everybody follow. I I have not played um this game on a single player game since since the very beginning back in 2015. I've always played on a server since then, so that's why uh you know I'm not quite used to some of these settings. But apparently, uh, you know, apparently that's probably having something to do with it. Okay, let's grab this. We don't need any of this other stuff, but we, we want the metal. For sure want the metal. Okay, so these kind of flattish, roundish rocks here are river rocks, and they usually do a pretty good job of giving us metal. Um, so what I'm going to do is... Just, you know, we need a minimum of 10 metal, but we already have some back at the base, so we already have plenty there. Um, I'm just going to grab enough for us to make the pick and the hatchet, the metal pick and the metal hatchet, and maybe even a, a pike and a crossbow. But I don't want to spend too much time doing this with a stone pick because we'll just get so much more yield with the metal. Um, does it tell... Okay, hold on. Save. <laughs> Uh, before we go into the menu here, um, how much metal does it cost? Uh, see, we can't see that from here. We have to go into the Ingram menu because we have to do it in the smithy. Okay. I'm a little bit leery of clicking in here because it seems to me like one time when I clicked in the search, it locked up on me. So uh, let's just scroll down to them. Okay. So this requires only one metal ingot? Oh, geez. Okay. This one requires eight, though, so we need 16 metal and uh, a total of 18 metal to make both of these, plus we need enough to make five more ingots, so another 10 to make the smithy. So we need a total of 28 metal to make all three of those things. We have 18 there. Um, I don't remember exactly how much I have back at the base, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to gather up just a little bit more. And then I will meet you guys back at the base. I'll keep the camera running in case something crazy happens. These, uh... Okay, get back here, you wimp. All right, if we wanted to, we could actually claim this baby Dillo. Um... It'll give us another another soldier if I can. Wait a minute, how come I can't get to it? Okay, it'll give us another soldier. Not that Dillos or I guess Dilos, however you say that, are that strong, but oh, he's really slow. What's uh yeah? What's up with the music there? That's really cool that we can do that, though. Okay, anyway, like I was saying, um, I'll keep the camera running in case something else crazy happens, but otherwise I'll meet you guys back at the base so we can make our smithy and our metal tools. Unbelievable. The, 
<laughs> the devil's already grown up. What the hell, man? You gotta be kidding me. Um. Wow, that is just nuts. Is that shark growling out there? That's kind of scary. Uh, all right, here, save game. We that's that's just too damn easy, you guys. Um, let's go to back to the main menu for a second. I gotta see what the maturation, um, or you know whatever the taming stuff is or, or breeding stuff is, because that's just that's crazy. Um, uh, let's see. Do we go to? I I'm gonna turn this. I'm gonna turn this down to. 1.5. Uh, I'm not sure if that had anything to do with it, but uh, yeah, that was crazy. Uh, we already turned the XP multiplier down, but where is the... Uh, no, 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 no. Where is the settings for breeding? World, maybe? Okay, here we go. So... Mating interval, that doesn't have anything to do with it. Baby mature speed is set to 10. Higher numbers mean faster math. Okay, that is crazy. Um, let's bump this down to two, and we'll try that. And, and even if that seems a little too much, um, I, we might change it again. But yeah, that was, that was nuts. <laughs> we haven't even gotten home yet, and that thing's already mature. Okay. Uh, let's see. Save settings. And back in the game. One thing I do really like about Arc Ascended is it loads way faster than than Evolved did. Like, way faster. So, that is cool. Okay. So, you are a col colorful little feller, aren't you? Um, we're going to have to... You're a, you're a female, so sorry. I called you a feller. Did it again, didn't I? Um, options, change name. We're going to call you Alberta. Okay. Um, and I think, did we? Oh, we never gave you a name. Okay, we're going to call you options. Uh, we're going to call you Mozarita. Mozarita. If it's Mozarita, it probably needs like two S's. Okay. And you got more levels already. That's crazy. Uh, let's just, I think I'm just going to pump weight. She's already got so much health and stamina, it's crazy. All right. Now, let's head on out. We've got three baby trikes here. Hmm. Uh, what level are you, Mama? You're level eight. So that means all you guys are level eight too. Look at that. <laughs> um, I was I, I had a thought that we could maybe send Mama to heaven and take the babies. I know it's just terrible, isn't it? <laughs> but level eight is just yeah, that's too low. Um, and I'm not even sure we need a trike. I usually do tame a trike in the early game, but man, this, these moss traps are so strong. I don't know that we need to, I guess it depends on how they're going to do against, um, you know, how they'll do against, um, you know, more dangerous predators like, you know, raptors and stuff. Okay. We've got another moss chops over here. Hell, we'll just make ourselves a whole Moz Chops army. What do you want, dude? Uh, I would like to get a dude for the mate boost, too, by the way. Uh, but you're a f you're also a female, and you want prime fish. Nope, sorry, can't help you. Not at the moment, anyways. All right, let's see. What do we want on you? Uh, your stamina is pretty damn good. I Yeah, let's just keep doing wake. Okay, let's check this one. Are you a male? 
I think you're a female too, and you want a rare mushroom, which I can't do anything about. You're a level 16, very pretty blue colored trike. Okay, let's uh, let's keep going here. Yeah, screw you, Ichthornis. Don't even think you can rob my stuff, bitch. I can't believe this is still a thing. Oh, that's been a bug in this game from day one. Okay. Okay, let's grab this metal out of here. And throw it into here. And that should give us enough stuff to do what we need to do. In the meantime, I'm going to spoil uh, all of this meat here so we can do another batch of narcotic. Okay, you don't have anything going on right now. Let's just... I, I think... Yeah, I think Delberta's just going to be a hauler, so all the rest of her points... Well, we might get her health up to 2,000 just so she doesn't get killed easy. And then probably the rest of her points are just going to go into weight, whatever's left. Oh, look at the baby parasaur. That's cute. Okay, grab all of the stuff out of here. I'll go out and get some more narco berries here in a little bit. Yeah, this is, thing is just jammed full. I'm going to have to make another one. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, we'll put the hide in there. Does this, uh, yeah, you know what? We could actually store some stuff in here, too, particularly things that this um, thing will take to make stuff. And that gives us a little more uh, a place to store things. Okay, so let's go seed, get rid of that crap. Okay, we got enough ingots here. So what else do we need to make the smithy? Let's just put... Uh-oh. Uh Shit. I forgot to save, too. God damn it. Okay, so I guess it's not just the Ingram uh, menu that locks us up. It could be any menu. All right, guys. Well, um, I don't remember the last time I saved. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> I'll meet you back here when we get caught back up to this point again. It's super frustrating. Okay, so here's the thing. Since the stupid game keeps crashing on me, um, I can now actually tame this moss chops. And again, you're another female, so I don't know what to name you. Let's just name you Mossy. <laughs> So that's our consolation for having to crash and, and start. Well, we started from right from the point where I brought you guys back to show you that the Dillo had um, completely matured. So we didn't lose a whole lot of progress, but I'm just not used to saving in this game. You know, I've never really had to before. Well, you can't save on a server anyways. Not not like a, a client side save anyways. So yeah, just don't think about it. Excuse me. Who's harvesting? Wait a second. Harvest settings. Enable harvest resource. Not you. Not you. Is the... The Pago? I didn't know they harvested resources. Interesting. Yeah, let's disable that. I, I did not know that they did that. Okay. Um, let's give you some more health, and I think we're going to drop all that stuff. Okay, so I had a, yet another crash. Uh, ironically, uh, when I was actually trying to save, too. So I don't know what the hell's going on. It's a little frustrating, but... Hopefully it'll be fixed in a patch. Anyway, let's um, let's go ahead and get our um, 
smithy made. So if we go here, let me let me save. <laughs> <laughs> I have a little little gun shy now. Um, we'll go to crafting and grab the smithy icon, and we just need actually here. Let's also track it too. Uh, so we just need hide stone and wood. Uh, I put some stuff in here too, so let's grab. We need fifty stone. So we'll grab that. I'm going to put half that metal back in there. Uh, 30 wood and 20 hide. Okay, let's craft the smithy. And we will put that up here. Hanging out just a little bit. Okay, again, just a temporary setup there. All right, very good. Now, let's grab... All of the metal, the rest of the metal that we currently have. And we're going to need, I'm sure we're going to need a little bit of hide and wood as well. And we can also store uh, other things in here, other resources too. So let's just grab all of the hide we have and a stack of wood. And that should allow us to make these two tools. Beautiful. Fan freaking tastic. All right, we are now finished with uh, the stone tools. We have ourselves a level up, so let's save the game. Uh, let's see, what are we working on? Uh, yeah, we're going to get weight to 300. Well, maybe we'll get it to 250, and then we should probably start putting some points into, like, Fortitude and maybe Melee, too. But what I want to do here is I want to get the pike and the crossbow. Uh, and the, yeah, let's get the super spyglass, too. We're going to have to go find some crystals somewhere. No. Uh, quite ready to get into stone building just yet. I think we're, we're going to keep this as a uh, just as a wood base because it's just our starter base. Um, stone ladder. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll look at all this stuff later. I think we have the essentials. Um, okay, so let's, um, what do we need to make a pike and a crossbow? Let's try here. This is, can we pin, uh, pin those? Yeah, we can. Okay. So that is going to require 10 metal. What, how about the crossbow? Crossbow requires only seven metal. So I think I want to make the crossbow first before. Yeah. Before we make the pike, because now that we have a metal pick, we'll be able to get more metal pretty easily. Excellent. Okay, I'm just going to throw these these guys in here for now. We can't... Um, what was I trying to say? We can't scrap them until we get a, uh, uh, a grinder, which is going to be a while before we get that. Okay, I was just going to let this keep burning and making charcoal. Uh, for gunpowder. And um, why don't we also... How much of this can we make? Yeah, let's make as much uh, cementing paste as we can. And then I'm going to start making some spark powder as well. And then some gunpowder. Oh, that's all we can make of that. Okay. Because we just use all of our stone for the cementing paste. No, not a problem. All right, guys. Well, um, we, uh, we're definitely out of time in this episode. So my plan is, I, I think what I'm going to do is spend the rest of, yeah, the sun's still, still, it's still, we still got some daytime left, but nevertheless, I think I'm going to spend some off camera time just gathering a whole bunch of resources. So we have everything we need or most everything we need 
to do our base build, and then that will be the plan uh, for the next episode. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Thank you.